welcome to chemistry classes in this video we are going to discuss about grade 12 chemistry grade 12 chemistry chapter p block elements p block elements okay so here uh, this is periodic table in periodic table you know this is s block p block and d block this is s block here this part p block and here this part it is d block we are going to discuss about this block p block elements in p block elements here group 13 this is group 13 group 14 15 16 17 18 okay and here group 13 and group 14 you already learned in plus one grade 11 okay and here in grade 12 we have to study here uh, group 15 onwards group 15 onwards okay so here uh, this is p block elements and we will study onwards group 15 group 15 okay and here another thing we have to understand here the outer shell electronic configuration of p block elements and ns2 np126 ns2 ns2 np126 okay ns2 np126 mean uh, for group 13 elements here it will be np1 ns2 np1 okay and group 14 it will be ns2 np2 and uh, group 15 it will be ns2 np3 okay and we will study more details about this but there is one exception case you know helium helium here in p block elements helium helium atomic number two okay and the subshell electronic configuration of helium it is one as two not not uh, coming this category i told you p block elements their outer shell electronic configuration ns2 np126 ns2 np126 but there is one exception case helium it's it's atomic number two and it's electronic configuration only one s2 not like this ns2 one np126 okay here helium is one exception case okay and we have to discuss here group 15 elements group 15 elements group 15 elements are nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth these are group 15 elements nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth okay when you are moving from top to down metallic character increases when you are moving from nitrogen to bismuth metallic character increases okay metallic character increases nitrogen and phosphorus they are non-metal arsenic and uh, antimony arsenic and antimony they are metalloids metalloid bismuth it is metal okay here non-metal non-metal then metalloid metalloid last one metal so metallic character increases okay and here we have to understand about nitrogen we know 78 percentage of air or 78 percentage of atmosphere it is nitrogen nitrogen also exists in the form of sodium nitrate sodium nitrate nano3 sodium nitrate it is called it is called chili salt peter chili salt peter sodium nitrate also nitrogen exists in the form of potassium nitrate kno3 potassium nitrate known as indian salt peter indian salt peter uh, potassium nitrate okay okay next one we have to understand here electronic configuration of group 15 elements electronic configuration of group 15 elements you can remember here electronic configuration of nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth you can remember this very easily okay so here this electronic configuration coming uh, you can just write nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth like uh, write like this okay then after that helium neon argon krypton xenon 
after helium first one nitrogen after helium 2s2 2p3 after helium 2s2 2p3 okay next phosphorus 3s2 3p3 starting from 2s2 2p3 then here 3s2 3p3 4s2 4p3 i am talking about this okay nitrogen 2s2 2p3 phosphorus 3s2 3p3 arsenic 4s2 4p3 5s2 5p3 6s2 6p3 so their electronic configuration you can remember first helium after helium here after neon here after argon coming this uh, outer shell electronic configurations okay so just write helium neon argon krypton xenon according to their order okay then here 2s2 2p3 3s2 3p3 4s2 4p3 5s2 5p3 6s2 6p3 but here third one look here one two three third one there will be 3d10 third one there will be 3d10 3d10 fourth one there will be 4d10 fifth one there will be 5d10 3d10 4d10 5d10 last one there will be 4f14 4f14 5d10 6s2 6p3 so accordingly you can remember their electronic configuration nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth then starting helium neon argon krypton xenon okay then first one 2s2 2p3 second one 3s2 3p3 4s2 4p3 5s2 5p3 6s2 6p3 third one there will be 3d10 you can remember third one there will be 3d10 fourth one 4d10 5d10 5d10 6d10 sorry here 3d10 4d10 5d10 okay last one there will be 4f14 also okay 4f14 so this is electronic configuration next one we have to understand here different properties of group 15 elements different properties of group 15 elements first one atomic and ionic radius atomic and ionic radius increases from top to down we know from top to down in a group size of atom increases that's why that's why atomic and ionic radius increases increases okay nitrogen to phosphorus there is large increases in atomic and ionic radius or you can say covalent radius and ionic radius increases from top to down okay nitrogen to phosphorus there is large increases large increase in nitrogen to phosphorus but we did the electronic configuration of group 15 elements and we found arsenic and bismuth there is completely d uh, d orbitals fulfilled d orbital in arsenic and bismuth so there is there is uh, more shielding effect there will be more shielding effect that's why arsenic and bismuth there is less increase or small increase in their atomic and ionic radius okay so here these are the things we have to understand about atomic and ionic radius atomic and ionic radius or you can say covalent radius and ionic radius increases from top to down it will be increases clear and here nitrogen to phosphorus there is large increases and arsenic to bismuth there is small increases the reason for this in arsenic and bismuth there will be fulfilled d orbitals that's why arsenic and arsenic to bismuth there is small increase in their atomic and ionic radius clear after that we have to understand here ionization enthalpy we know what is ionization enthalpy here ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy decreases from decreases from top to down because size of the atom increases from top to down size of the atom increases distance between nucleus and the outer shell electron increases less attraction between nucleus and the outer shell electron.
electron so we can remove our tertiary electron easily that's why ionization enthalpy decreases from top to down in group 15 elements clear uh, after that we have to understand here compared to group 14 elements in periodic table compared to group 14 elements group 15 elements shows high ionization enthalpy compared to group 14 elements group 15 elements shows higher ionization enthalpy because we know subshell electronic configuration of group 15 elements ns2 np3 ns2 np3 ns2 np3 mean it is half filled configuration half filled configuration is more stable okay here electronic configuration subshell electronic configuration of do 15 elements ns2 np3 this is half filled configuration and it is highly stable okay so we have to give more energy to remove outer shell electron so compared to group 14 elements group 15 element shows higher ionization enthalpy clear after that we have to understand here successive ionization enthalpy successive ionization enthalpy this is the order normal order okay here uh, first ionization enthalpy less than second ionization enthalpy it is less than third ionization enthalpy so these are the things we have to discuss about atomic radius and ionization enthalpy clear okay next one we have to understand here electronegativity electronegativity of group 15 elements decreases from top to down from nitrogen to bismuth electronegativity decreases because size of the atom increases okay size of the atom atomic and ionic radius increases that's why electronegativity decreases from top to down after this we have to understand here physical properties of group 15 elements physical properties group 15 elements are polyatomic polyatomic elements they exist they exist in polyatomic form for example nitrogen exists in the form of n2 n2 Na, uh, phosphorus exists in the form of p4 okay phosphorus p4 nitrogen n2 okay so here u15 elements are polyatomic polyatomic in nature after that we have to understand here nitrogen in u15 elements nitrogen exists in the form of gaseous state remaining elements are in the form of solid state group 15 elements nitrogen gaseous state rest of the elements are in the form of solid state solid state okay also we already discussed metallic character increases from top to down nitrogen phosphorus non-metal arsenic antimony metalloid bismuth metal so non-metal metalloid metals metallic character increases from top to down okay melting point increases from top to down melting point increases from top to down okay <clears throat> here another point except except nitrogen all other elements shows allotropy allotropes you know allotropes carbon exists in the form of graphite and diamond these are the allotropes of carbon similarly here do 15 elements also shows allotropes all do 15 elements except nitrogen shows allotropes so these are the things we have to understand about chemical properties of elements we discuss group 15 elements are polyatomic in nature nitrogen is gaseous state rest of the elements are solid state melting point melting point of group 15 elements increases from top to down metallic character increases from top to down except nitrogen all other elements shows a lot tops next one we have to understand here chemical properties of group 15 elements chemical properties okay here we have to understand here the common oxidation state of do 15 elements are minus 3 plus 3 and plus 5 these are the common oxidation state 
കോമൺ ഓക്സിഡേഷൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ എലമെൻസ് ആർ മൈനസ് ത്രീ പ്ലസ് ത്രീ ആൻഡ് പ്ലസ് ഫൈവ് ഓക്സിഡേഷൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ടെൻഡൻസി ടു ഷോ മൈനസ് ത്രീ ഓക്സിഡേഷൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഡിക്രീസസ് ഫ്രം ടോപ്പ് ടു ഡൗൺ ഓക്കെ ടെൻഡൻസി ടു ഷോ മൈനസ് ത്രീ ഓക്സിഡേഷൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഡിക്രീസസ് ഫ്രം ടോപ്പ് ടു ഡൗൺ ബിക്കോസ് Uh, minus 3 oxidation state mean the atom receiving electron and showing uh, minus 3 charge so down the group size of the atom increases metallic character also increases so less tendency to accept electron less tendency to show minus 3 oxidation state okay after that we have to understand here stability of plus 5 oxidation state decreases from from top to down from top to down uh, stability of plus 5 oxidation state decreases similarly uh, stability of plus 3 oxidation state increases from top to down okay stability of plus 3 oxidation state increases stability of plus 5 oxidation state decreases from top to down clear after that we have to understand here we discuss oxidation state here here this is one exception case nitrogen shows plus 1 plus 2 and plus 4 oxidation state nitrogen shows plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 oxidation state when when it react with oxygen when nitrogen reacting with the oxygen there are many possibility for oxidation state of nitrogen nitrogen shows plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 oxidation state clear next one we have to understand here anomalous properties of nitrogen anomalous properties of nitrogen anomalous properties of nitrogen mean we know this is group 15 elements here nitrogen shows nitrogen shows different properties compared to other group members these properties are called anomalous properties of nitrogen compared to other group 15 elements nitrogen shows different properties this is anomalous properties of nitrogen okay so compared to other group members nitrogen shows very small size very small size because nitrogen has higher electronegativity that's why nitrogen shows very small size okay and here another one we have to understand here non availability of d electrons especially compared to uh, arsenic antimony bismuth we did the subshell electronic configuration there is 3d10 4d10 5d10 okay so here other compared to other group members nitrogen has no no d electrons there is no d electrons compared to other group members especially compared to compared to arsenic antimony and bismuth clear after that we have to understand here here unique ability to form a uh, pi bond pi bond here nitrogen has unique ability to form a p pi p pi multiple bond with itself also nitrogen form same bond with other elements such as carbon and oxygen here two nitrogen atom each other it make multiple bonds such as pi bond this pi bond we represent here p pi p pi means here p orbital two p orbital by sidewise overlapping it form multiple bond that is p pi p pi multiple bond so two nitrogen atom two nitrogen atom they form they form p pi p pi multiple bond also nitrogen forms same bond with other elements such as carbon and oxygen clear so this type of property uh, showing nitrogen other elements not showing this properties clear and here we have to understand here bond enthalpy bond enthalpy of nitrogen is higher compared to other group group members bond enthalpy bond enthalpy mean amount of energy required to break the bond okay only nitrogen atom form multiple bond only nitrogen atom form 
uh, here nitrogen nitrogen triple bond other elements forms single bond example arsenic arsenic single bond antimony antimony single bond okay so these are the different anomalous properties of nitrogen we discuss here nitrogen shows very small size because it has higher electronegativity okay and here compa compared to other group members nitrogen has no d electrons okay and here nitrogen forms p pi p pi multiple bond with nitrogen itself also it make same bond with other elements nitrogen make such type of bond with carbon and oxygen clear bond enthalpy of nitrogen is higher compared to other group members and here only nitrogen forms triple bond only nitrogen forms triple bond other group members do not make triple bond they make single bond okay okay we are talking about anomalous properties of group 15 elements anomalous properties of group 15 elements so here next one we have to discuss here how group 15 elements reacting with hydrogen all group 15 elements reacting with hydrogen and form its hydride for example nitrogen uh, reacted with hydrogen it form nh3 so all these elements reacted with hydrogen form its hydride in the form of eh3 eh3 for example nitrogen reacted with hydrogen nh3 phosphorus reacted with hydrogen ph3 ash3 sph3 bih3 generally we can represent eh3 e represent group 15 elements okay next point we have to discuss here stability of group 15 hydride decreases from top to down stability of group 15 group 15 hydride not group 15 elements stability of group 15 hydride decreases from top to down so most stable group 15 hydride nh3 least stable group 15 hydride is bih3 stability decreases from top to down so here stability decreasing so next point bond dissociation energy so bond dissociation energy also decreases from top to down on the top it is highly stable more energy required to break the bond so bond dissociation energy higher in nh3 and the bond strength decreases from top to down so bond dissociation energy also decreases from top to down okay so here i said uh, bond between bismuth and hydrogen it is weaker and it can release hydrogen very easily so here bih3 is more reducing power it has higher reducing power so reducing power of this hydride increases from top to down okay reducing power increases from top to down but same time basicity of this group 15 hydride decreases from top to down nh3 is higher basic okay and the basicity will be decreases from nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth nh3 is highly basic and bih3 is least basic so these are the different points we have to discuss about group 15 hydride we discuss all group 15 elements reacted with the hydrogen form its hydride okay in the form of eh3 and the stability of group 15 hydride decreases from top to down bond dissociation energy also decreases from top to down okay reducing character increases from nh3 to bih3 bih3 it has higher reducing power but basicity decreasing from nh3 to bih3 nh3 is highly basic bih3 is least basic okay so these are the different points we discussed next one we have to understand here reactivity towards oxygen 
do 15 elements react with oxygen form two different type of oxide E2O3 and E2O5 do 15 elements reacted with oxygen form two different type of oxide E2O3 and E2O5 E2O3 mean here oxidation state of group 15 elements will be plus 3 oxidation state. E2O5 mean here oxidation state will be plus 5 oxidation state. Okay, so plus 3. I told you before group 15 elements shows minus 3 plus 3 plus 5 oxidation state. So these are the two different type of oxide. Here group 15 elements plus 3 oxidation state and here it will be plus 5 oxidation state. Okay. Next point we have to understand here. Oxide with higher oxidation state will be more acidic. Okay. Here we discussed there are two different type of two different type of oxide E2O5 and E2O3. Here plus 3 oxidation state, here plus 5 oxidation state. So which oxide is uh, more higher oxidation state? Higher oxidation state means plus 5. Plus 5 oxidation state is high, higher oxidation state. So oxide with the higher oxidation state, it means E2O5. E2O5 is more acidic than E2O3. Okay, E2O5 more acidic than E2O3. Clear? Also, we have to understand the acidic character of this oxide decreases from top to down. We know nitrogen, nitrogen to bismuth. So, their acidity of this oxide decreases. Acidic character of this oxide decreases from top to down. So, oxides of nitrogen is highly acidic and oxides of bismuth is least acidic. Clear? Also, we have to understand here one more thing. The oxide in the form of E2O3. There are two different type of oxide. E2O3, E2O5. Here, when we discuss E2O3, here, this type of oxide, E2O3, nitrogen and phosphorus. N2O3, P2O3, these are acidic in character. Okay. E2O3, this type of E2O3, nitrogen and phosphorus, E2O3 forms are acidic character. Okay. Similarly, here, arsenic, antimony, E2O3 form, they are amphoteric character and bismuth, E2O3 form, it is basic character. Clear? It means acidic character decreasing. First, acidic, amphoteric, basic. So, uh, uh, we already discussed here, acidic character decreases from top to down. Clear? We have to understand here, reactivity towards halogens. Group 15 elements reacted with the halogens form two different type of halide. EX3 and EX5. These are the two different type of halide formed. EX3 and EX5 different type of halide formed. Okay. And here one more thing we have to understand here. Uh, I told you here do 15 elements reacted with halogen. Two different type of halide. EX3 and EX5. Okay. But here nitrogen do not form. Nitrogen do not form this type of halide EX5. Penta halide do not formed by nitrogen. Because we know nitrogen uh, d orbitals are not available. That's why nitrogen do not form penta halide. Clear? And here another thing we have to understand here. Penta halides are more, more covalent in character. Okay. Compared to EX3 and EX5. EX5 halides are more covalent in character more covalent character EX5 clear and one more thing we have to understand here all the trihalides are more stable all trihalides are highly stable except trihalides of nitrogen only trihalides of nitrogen NF3 is stable other trihalides of nitrogen are not stable all other trihalides of U15 elements are stable. Clear? 
and here we have to understand here try highlight except bif3 except bif3 uh, all other try highlights are covalent character bif3 it is ionic in nature clear so these are the different points we have to understand about group, uh, reactivity towards halide okay group 15 elements reacted with the halogens form two different type of halide ex3 and ex5 okay and the ex5 penta halides are more covalent in character okay penta halides are more covalent in character nitrogen do not form Nitrogen do not form penta halide because d orbitals are not available. D electrons are not available for nitrogen. All tri halides are or all tri halides are stable except tri halides of nitrogen. Tri halides of nitrogen not stable except only one. Only NF3 is stable, all other trihalides of nitrogen not stable. But trihalides of rest of the elements, rest of the group 15 elements are stable. Okay, all trihalides are covalent in character. All trihalides and uh, BF3, PF3, uh, NF3, all trihalides are covalent in character except only one. BIF3 all this exception case you have to remember all trihalides are covalent character only one ionic character which one BIF3 bismuth we know bismuth it is metal metal and halogen it form ionic ionic bond okay and here last point reactivity towards metals group 15 elements reacted with metals form uh, binary compounds group 15 elements reacted with metals form binary compounds okay here example for such type of binary compound calcium nitride calcium phosphide okay in this binary compound the oxidation state of group 15 will be minus 3 oxidation state minus 3 oxidation state so remember group 15 elements reacted with reacted with metal it formed binary compounds with oxidation state minus 3 okay so these are the different points we have to we have to discuss in this video so you can revise this video you can you can just review this video and check the points we discussed okay rest of the things we will discuss next video so thank you for watching this video